So what we're doing today is we are installing a Corsair 80i GT Hydro Series uh, Co-Plate Water Cooler and to a Black Hawk, uh, this is a Sabertooth 990 FS, FX version 1 motherboard with a AMD 8358-core processor. And uh, we're just going to switch over water. We've been running up to 51 degrees uh, when editing and uh, rendering video. And we're just going to put a water cooler in and see if that keeps it a little bit cooler. I've blown out the case and uh, we see a lot of reviews on Intel processors going in and how they're mounted. And I thought, hadn't seen an AMD uh, video. And I thought while I was doing this, well, maybe the AMD folks would like to see how this works. So first off, the AMD one seems to be a little bit easier because at least on the Sabertooth motherboard, the studs for the uh, backing plate for the processor are actually mounted to the board and so uh, it looks like it's going to make a fairly easy install. So with that I'm going to so quit the talking. The fine threads are going to be for our thumb screws and the coarse threads go down to the studs. So if we find our screwdriver here, for so far on the AMD processor, and then this plastic block comes out. And the answer is yes, the mounting plate could fall off, it looks like. But because we have Homer's bucket underneath it, Homer's bucket is giving it enough support so that it's going to uh, stay here. Okay. Those are on securely. We need to install the AMD mounting bracket. So the AMD mounting bracket looks like this and that's going to fit onto our four post like so to hold down the uh, pump. It looks like that's going to work out okay. And so now we got our two fans, and they told us that on one of the corners there's supposed to be a direction arrow, which is true. So here's our fan, and as you can see, I don't know if you can see it or not, but this is showing our airflow is going to go this way, and the fan is going to rotate that way. Turn smooth. It's got the um, four pin header on it for power management. So, put that there for the time being. Get our other fan out. And then we get the radiator and stuff out. So, the radiator looks good. I think it's a 37 millimeter uh, thickness. Uh, our coal plate comes with the thermo on it. I'm going to replace that with Arctic Silver 6. And then we have our double wires for our fan and then also for the uh, pump. Okay, so we've turned the bracket the way we think we want it. Uh, looks like if we do that right there, that will be a relatively comfortable fit with a fan and a fan. That should uh, leave us plenty of space for everything. 
Okay, so what we have here is we've got our eight screws, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we have our eight washers and our four thumb screws, so that will complete the installation. So with that in mind, the fun part starts. So we got our screw in. Got a cable down and that's hanging like that so i think we're in good shape on that get another screw <clears throat> make sure you put the washer on so we got a screw washer and it will go up in this top hole supposedly there we go So the core is there, should face towards the radiator and also towards the inside of the case. And now then, the moment of truth, lay this part up here. And then getting this first one started is probably the key to success. Now that was way too easy. Okay, getting the second one started. Let's see how lucky that one is. Hmm. Wow. And normally, guys, things don't go that well. So, washer screw into that hole there. Okay, washer screw. Okay, so we're going to tighten that up so we don't have any rattles, I guess. So the hard part seems to be over, or so they say. And so this fan will go in similar to this. Don't hope y'all don't see the glare off the top of my head there. So that's gonna be work out to be a pretty neat installation, I believe. See, they're saying to mount the fan so it's sucking air or blowing air into the case. We're gonna start right here right now with the first Whoops, oops a daisy. So we're going to loosen the top two just a little bit to allow it to settle down onto the radiator. And that way we don't want to put too much tension on these parts here. Okay, and then the final screw goes in this side. Okay, so we have a nice tight seal all the way around the fan. So we shouldn't have any air leakage there. So we're going to get our two connectors here out of the way. First we're going to use the thermal remover fluid. Ah, uh, how does that look? Nice and shiny. 
no, whatever. So now what we're doing is purifier and then just sort of looking to make sure there's no pieces of lint. Dries nice and okay, so we don't want to touch it now. Okay, we have our Arctic Silver uh, thinly spread on the processor. Going to drop the processor back in its home to make sure, but we're going to make sure that corner down, down. Okay, don't want to touch your thermal paste. Okay, so now we have our fans mounted. We haven't plugged up our wires yet for our fans. We're going to let we're going to live dangerously and make that be the last thing we're going to do. So, our plate is super clean. And if our plan works correctly, we've got our USB thing plugged in, already to save the headache of doing that later. Although, that may not like it when I see for a fact that So I wasn't smart here. I brought all four thumb screws down with me at the same time. I guess I was a little over energetic there. So that was probably a mistake. Especially if you're going to drop one of them down in there. That's going to be a mistake. Or if you drop two down in there. So we'll get to retrieve them in just a second here. Is to go crossways to get it seated firmly on the processor yeah, it looked like there was a lot of room there but in fact there's not as much room as it seems to be now that we don't have another three of them in our hand it makes it a little bit easier it's weird that it will pick it up by the edge don't want to get them tight right now, I don't think, because I don't think we want to put any adverse torque on there. Okay. And that one. Okay, so let's just do a little. Okay, that's a little bit. Same over here. A little bit. A little bit. Okay, so that feels like we have Okay, we made sure it's secure. Just to make sure wiring is as neat as we can make it in here so we got that that and so then we've got our fan cable here so that's one and two so we got both fan cables we want that to plug in to our number one CPU header okay now I think what I want to do here is so we have okay there's the first plug in there's a second plug in we run it right here so it stays out of the way okay so everything's tidied up over there and then what we're going to do is we're going to put cooling fan back on our header. Neatness sake, we're going to go ahead and
So I hope you enjoyed this install. Thank you for watching and uh, here's the cooler temperatures to all of you on your processors. Okay, so this is going to be our final overview. As you can see, we have our memory cooler here. And of course, while we had it apart, we uh, cleaned all the fans. We we installed an additional 120 millimeter fan there that was our exhaust fan prior. Uh, now we have our Corsair 80 IGT. And then we have the power pump. And of course we got our, just for the heck of it, we got our MSI uh, video card. I think it's a 390 GT, uh, 4 megabytes, uh, or 4 gigabytes, excuse me, of RAM. And so, anyway, we've got everything tidied up. And so now, let's see if this thing runs as cool as we're hoping for.